Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we are playing some more Starfield. Oh, that explains why they see me. Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> I forgot about my light being on from the last video. I don't see them now. Where did they go? Got all worked up for nothing. Oh, I did not even hit them. I got him. <laughs> I need to reduce the weapon sway. How do I do that? Get the word. Hold on. I'm um, under here, right? Yeah. Reload faster while standing still. How do I? Is it here? No. Scoped weapons. Oh, mine's not scoped because it's a reflex sight. I don't think that counts. Yeah, I don't think a reflex sight counts as scoped because it's not a proper scope. I mean, it might, but it may not. I don't stop. Up and junk. Bite me. How about that one? Huh, <laughs> a measly orange. 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 And that one is now done. <clears throat> Let me guess. Oh, hi there, buddy. <laughs> oh, I see that down there. They're in front of me. Oh, I got a... No, I don't want that. Where'd the other guy go? I don't see his body. Was there another guy here? But I don't want that gun because that gun sucks big fat donkey doo doo. Bro, I cannot wait to sell this crap. <laughs> oh, I could have done that too. Oh, man. Hold on now. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, I didn't make them all go off. Bummer. Saw the flashing lights. Oh, 
You know you shouldn't need your um You shouldn't need those whenever you're in a cave. How? I'm hitting him, buddy. I'm hitting you. How? <laughs> Dumbass. Fucking <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> 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 Ew, it's fake it's fake meat and fake and fake milk. Oh no, it's yogurt. Gross. Fake fake stuff. Cool. You know, I do have a grenade, why not? Bye bye! That didn't hit him at all, no, did it? Wow, I can't see. Cool. <laughs> I got a critical hit on it. Nice. Wait, it knocked me out of. Oh, how fascinating! I've heard about wow. these tunnel boring machines, but I mean, I'll take more of those. I don't mind if I do. And your thing sucks, big fat nuggets. I mean, I could give her that, and she'll knock him on her ass, but I don't want him. One of them in person. Because that seems like, you know, cheap ass mechanics. Because reasons. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and use that. Because I can. More money. Heck yeah, dude. Don't mind if I do. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I can't use that. Or can I? Hey, I need to borrow you your. Like, um... I'd like to speak to. Ad have something for me? <clears throat> yeah, I need to borrow this real quick. I need to borrow all that real quick. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be Dear terrified. Todd Howard, <laughs> can we modify our companion stuff even though that is equipped to them? Well, bummer. Oh, you know, I can't because I, I'm not at home. No, if you don't mind. mind. Want to see what I'm carrying? Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. I Let's forgot. Go. I can't modify stuff when I'm not at home. In my $30,000 apartment complex that... 
honestly shouldn't have cost me that much, but it did. What in the fudge is that thing? Is that, is that zero wire? It is, I need that. <coughs> cool, alright. We're going in. Well, that gun officially sucks until I can get it to where it uses slug ammo. Until that happens, it sucks. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Epic heavy. This is a heavy gun. Okay. Deals double damage to targets at full health. Interesting. You know, I could give it to her. Never mind. The fire rate sucks. Goodbye. <laughs> Delivered 2.3 tons black crystals. Shipment redirected to the clinic. Why was it delivered to the clinic? I wonder. Man, all the free lockpicks and crap, sweet. Boosted Brigger. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Well, this was a fun little area. I'm gonna go ahead and use this because it weighs me down quite a bit. Oh, I didn't see this before. Eh, I don't need that, honestly. I have enough for now, I think. I think they're only used for, um... Read the contract.
contract orders. Redirect travel to there. Wait, no, 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 I want to go, hold up, no, 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 I want to go to, crap, um, here. Because I have some contraband on board <coughs> that I want to sell. Visit to the I try not trade to trade in gossip. I'm I just having verifiable information. I'm all in by all means. Does he have enough money? He does. I'll get less than what the item is worth. Okay. Um, I will sell these ones, and then I will happily wait for the rest. Do 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 do. So we should now have enough money for the rest of if there's any how may the my contraband. Yes, of course. And he doesn't. Interesting. When did I get I oh, remember that's right, that's his. He doesn't have enough. Interesting. Was there something you need? Yes, hmm. of course. Then I will buy some ammo from him. How about that? What all do I need ammo wise? Um, I bought this one. I'm not going to use this one. I'm honestly better off using this one, even though. Oh no, this one's not silenced either. But yeah, our our slugs. I will sell this one, as well, and that will lower my weight some more. Um, resources. I can put all this stuff in my ship for now. All right, and that will give him enough money. Good to see you. 
Certainly. To where I can do that. And while we're here, hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. <coughs> I have gained a level or two. There still isn't anything better, really. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I'm betting I'll have to go to certain areas and like buy shit parts from them or whatever. But honestly, you know what? I don't care. We're clear. <laughs> the clinic. Jump. <laughs> All right, now to talk to this person over here. Oh, space suit. This area is off limits. Authorized personnel only. An outbreak. I haven't heard anything about this. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. <laughs> nice. Sean, I don't want to put more this in the end. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this is a firm violation. Got that ship. Although who knows what Faye expects me to do with it. But maybe approvals. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. 
Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several volunteers. Hmm. So far, only one patient has survived. You're telling me. When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? It's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Those are human lives we're talking about, but you're treating them like data points on a slate. It's just like real life. Oh wait, too soon? Oh my god, no way! <clears throat> you, you really think that's possible? Don't you think the guilt of living <laughs> would be enough punishment? No, he's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? Yes, and you're going to let them too. Go ahead. Get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. I'm sorry you disliked my choices. I really am thankful for your help here. Well, it's saying that I, I only need to take one thing, and that's this. 15 mass? Dude, what the hell? Pretty Asian lady. Hi. <clears throat> My favorite. I don't think I can describe how grateful I am for keeping us out of this. Ah, well, there's the, you know, what bags. Captain on deck. If you need anything else, just let me know. Where are we now? Where do you think we're at? This is not the spaceship, you crazy lady. But I like what you think. I would not mind running this hellhole. Okay, now you can say it. Hmm? Oh yeah, I gotta undock first, don't I? Hey, hey, I forgot about that part. All green on 
release. Now we turn this in. Keeping you Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Dr. Lane. Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work, specializing in neurosurgery. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? So. It sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died, and you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. We'll determine the truth for ourselves once Yuko has extracted the information. But if you're right, I see no issues in allowing them to remain anonymous. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Hmm. Not long, according to her. <coughs> She and Demarcus have everything prepped and ready. I believe it's just a matter of creating the alloy and molding it according to her design. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the mole's identity. I've called a meeting and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you okay there? Good God. <clears throat> Damn. My company's future might be riding on this deal. <laughs> keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Good. You're right on time. I reevaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. I had a feeling Imogene wasn't responsible. <sighs> that 
poor woman. In due time. I'll be reaching out, but right now we need her to remain in hiding. Indeed. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Must that poor woman's name be continuously dragged through the mud? These nonsensical decisions need to stop. Imogene is a resourceful woman. I have no doubt she's in a safe house of her own design. In fact, she probably sees this as a paid vacation. My guess is she's <laughs> lounging on a couch somewhere, binging all those movies she hasn't had time to watch. She does like movies. Good. Keeping Olaro in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Hmm. If I can't find hidden code on a single slate, I certainly deserve to be fired. Ularu is limited in what she can hide here. Plus, she'll have no reason to believe anyone will be looking in the first place. Then we'll have to find another way to build a case against Ularu. And it won't be easy. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. <coughs> Take a seat in the conference room. Oh boy. Really? Hold on, I see in here. Genevieve. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. Okay, that's the CEO. Okay, yeah, she's in here. If only there were more hours in the day. So they actually make us use chairs in this game. Kudos, Bethesda. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. I know you're not insinuating that this is my fault. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities.
botched human trials and murder for hire? You don't bounce back from that. At least not with Infinity's legal team. <laughs> if I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send out the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Okay. I'm enjoying this little corporate espionage side stuff. I'm I'm loving it. Like this is grand. Alrighty. Are you sure you're okay? Don't wander into any rough. restricted area. I have to admit, I'm a bit jealous of Ryujin's gorgeous design aesthetic. Or perhaps I should have their architects renovate the launch. You want to chat? Find him, Marcus. He's always. The fact that the neuro app can control and manipulate people against their will is disgusting. The device shouldn't be allowed to exist. Yeah, but it is. It's good to see you again. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. <coughs> the internal neuroamp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. It gives the user dominion over a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. Oh, like persuasion. <laughs> but better. Hey, let's not get carried away there. That terminology is a bit heavy-handed. So, are you ready to get started? Well, I guess we're going to jump straight into the world of cyberpunk now, aren't we? Yes. Always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. There's little to no risk, assuming your brain is typical and you don't have any adverse reaction to the anesthesia. First sign of trouble, we back out and start evaluating other candidates. Eh, you're gonna be fine. All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. I hope you know what yes, you're doing. You I worry about you. advanced search for capabilities. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. All right, now we jump into the world of cyberpunk. All right. Let's get this party started. And roll credits, game over. <laughs> well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. It's 
So, how are you feeling? You look good? I was hoping for some cool bionic modifications. Yep, that's me every morning. But the whole point of this is no visual indication and no adverse side effects. So, sounds like we're on track. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Let's just say it varies based on the user. Some people have greater mental capabilities than others, which would increase the duration. Now that's something to talk to the drone engineers about. <laughs> now let's test this sucker out. <coughs> Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. Our preliminary testing was rigorous enough that there's little to no risk involved here. The biggest unknown was finding the perfect compatible alloy for the implant. We've had the tech itself working externally for quite some time. Please, we're not infinity. We believe in due diligence when it comes to tech like this. But just in case something does go wrong, we've got him locked up in the test chamber. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. Cool. So, do we get any... Nope. Dang it. Dang it, man. No new skill tree. Press LB to open the scanner and target the person you want to control. Press A to bring up your social skills and select manipulate. Hover your cursor over a target and if you fail, your target will be immune to all future attempts. No way! Dude! <laughs> That's cool! This is cool. On the one hand, I'm fascinated by the incredible technology. On the other, I'm terrified what could happen should this fall into the wrong hands. I can be so divided about something in my life. Oh my god, that was incredible! What was it like? Wow, how to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and 
figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. So hold on, I need to have the other ones unlocked, right? Before I can do it? Yeah. Oh, dude. So that, okay, so that's what these are for. Oh my god, that is going to be amazing. Oh. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yes. Good. Hear that, DeMarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Those are the kind of edge cases that I let the board work out. Obviously, tech like this is going to come with its fair share of red tape. Hmm. Not at all. But I can imagine if I experienced disorientation like that, but regained my awareness in another room. It could be a bit jarring. We'll definitely be running some more tests in the future, though. So many situations to account for. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neuro elm isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. That was cool. I, I don't think I'll be using it hardly ever because I don't have enough stuff in social class to utilize it, but it was still pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to see the CEO herself. Squeeze me. This could be the most important. Good, you're here. I wasn't sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuro amp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Option A, you need to remain under the radar the entire time. Option B, you have a slight cover that may give you the opportunity to talk your way to your objectives. Yes, the less people you need to interact with, the better. Ideally, none at all. Now, 
Depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. You'll only have free range on the marketing floor. Infinity may be cheap, but they know at least some level of security is needed in this business. Any mercenary or disgruntled worker can go shoot a place up. You're a Ryujin operative, so start acting like one. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero amp. Anyone who comes forward to defend Lucas would be prosecuted as either aiding or being an accessory to these crimes. They all know career suicide when they see it. As for Lucas himself, if he wants to speak up and add corporate theft to his laundry list of crimes, fine. But who's going to believe him? With tech like that, I can see why you'd want to maintain control of the narrative, though I strongly object to the methods. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Oh, let's just hope this program is as thorough as you say then. And as safe. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, Every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'm told security has masks to handle the situation, so the guards will still be stationed in the building. It's also possible they'll activate their building's defense system as well. You may run into a few automated turrets, so you'll still want to try and stay out of sight. If the information mm. Simon provided is accurate, you can reach the control systems through a computer located in the maintenance area. It's a pretty convenient stop if you enter in through the roof access. That old man's going to be around for some time to come. Especially since I heard you helped him get rid of an old thorn in his side. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer <coughs> program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. Okay. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. Ularu assured me it's safe. The Overseer program will purge itself once its primary function is complete. 
The only thing left on that slate will be proof of Infinity's crimes. It doesn't matter what he believes. David's first move will be to verify the information you provide. Once he receives confirmation, which he will, he'll see it as his duty to report the news. Hmm. <clears throat> I guarantee the moment he scratches the surface on that story, he'll have a broadcast sent to every system. So, any final questions before you go? You'll be restricted to the marketing floor. An appointment is not a free pass. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. Hmm. Become 25% harder to detect. So now I have maximum stealth. Interesting. Operative helmet. That doesn't do much for me at all. Oh no, I, I, I don't want that equipped. I want that one equipped. And then this one equipped as well. <laughs> Now, do I still have... Okay, I do. Cool. Oh, okay. So I have that on underneath. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, well... I need to talk to Dalton now. My career will be over if this deal falls through. Eugen CEO is no joke, boy. Do you have the program? I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So, let's take a look. Aha. Uh -huh. The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. First Imogene, now Masako. Ularu keeps using people as runs on the way up the ladder. Any one of us could be next. I love the interaction. I copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact. So Ularu can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Ularu's guilt. Good. Then let's nail Ularu right to the wall. She deserves everything that's coming her way. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, 
Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. <laughs> well, with that, I am going to make a save and put a cut in the video. And we might be on the final one for this storyline. Maybe. I'm not going to guarantee it, though. Because, I don't know. But if we are, I've actually quite enjoyed this one. And if you guys have as well, please feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more Starfield. And more content from my channel as well. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.